Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fine company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do validate binary search delete code problem and if we see some of the companies where I want to get a job who have already asked this question, there are companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Bloomberg, Facebook, Uber, Google, Apple, ByteDance, Lyft, LinkedIn and Netflix. So that's why I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. This is a lead code medium problem and one of the most liked tree problems on lead code. Uh, basically, we are given the root of a binary tree and we need to determine that whether that given tree is a valid binary search tree or not. We are also given the definition that what a valid binary search tree is. Basically, uh, for any given tree, if this root value or the node value, uh, so if this is the value of the node, basically every single value that is present on the left of the node should be less than whatever this node value is and every single value that is on the right side of the node should be greater than whatever this node value is so if that is the case and that is true for the entire given tree we can define it as a valid binary search tree so let's take a couple of examples that are shown over here so in the first example well basically the node value we have is two so the in, in the left subtree we only have one value that is one which is less than this two and on the right subtree we only have one value again which is three which is greater than uh, this node value 2. So in this case we can consider this to be a valid binary search tree and in this case we will return true. But if we take a look at the second example, so in the second example we are given this root value as 5. Uh, so this value node value is 5 that is okay. Uh, if we see on the left subtree we only have one child and that is the value is 1. So this is again less than whatever the value we have for the node value. Now if we see on the right subtree the value of this is actually 4. So 4 is again less than 5. So because this 4 is less than 5 and remember that we have the definition of valid binary search tree that everything on the right subtree should be greater than whatever the node's value is. So in this case this value is actually not greater than the value of this root node. So in this case this is not an valid tree. So in this case we will return false. And uh, this is what we have to define basically. Now based on the definition we can define that what a valid binary search tree is that for any particular given node if it's left entire left subtree if that is less than the, that node and if it's entire right subtree if that is greater than that node we can define that to be a valid binary search tree. Well if that is the case uh, the first intuition that comes to our mind is that for any given node value what we can do is we can check its left uh, child and right child if the uh, left child is less than it and right child is uh, greater than it if, if that is the case we will keep on repeating the same process for all the subsequent left child and right child with its uh, root node and in, in the end uh, if we reach to the end of this tree we can return true immediately saying that this is a valid binary search tree. Well uh, let's try to apply that same logic for this particular example. Basically we are given this node 5. So this 3 is actually less than 5 and 8 is actually greater than 5. So in this case this portion is actually valid. Now again for this 3 this 1 is less than 8 and 4 is greater than it. Again this portion is also valid and uh, same is true for this 8, 6 and 9 as well. So in this case we can define this to be a valid binary search tree and we can return true in this case saying that this is a valid binary search tree. But the thing is this solution is not the most optimal way to solve this problem and let me quickly show you why. Because based on the same logic for this 5 uh, this 3 and 8 again okay this is less than then this is greater than so so far this is valid again for this 3 this is 1 and 4 so this is less than greater than again this is valid but now for this 8 this is also 2 and 9 so this is less than greater than again this is valid so all three portions are valid uh, by definition we would treat this to be a valid binary search tree and that would actually be a false positive why because uh, remember that by the definition for this uh, node everything that is on the right side of this tree should actually be greater than this node 5 but in this case this 2 is actually less than this 5 and because of that particular case we will need to return false in this case the thing is based on our previous method we would have returned true so let's see that what would be the actual optimal solution to solve this problem so the idea for the optimal solution in this case is that we are actually going to do in order traversal on the given binary tree to determine that whether it's a valid binary search tree or not. Uh, well, if you want to learn more about different types of tree traversals, you can check out the video over here. Now let's get back to the question at the end. So basically what the idea I'm suggesting is that if we do in order traversal in any given tree, basically the idea for in order traversal is that first of all, we visit the left subtree, then we visit the node and then we visit the right subtree. Also this in order traversal traversal is a depth first search kind of a traversal where we are actually going in the depth first and then we are visiting the different nodes so in this case the traversal that we are going to do is that first of all we are going to do the go for the left subtree so for this node left node exists again for this node left node exists so first of all we are going to visit this left child then uh, this child does not have any more children of its own so now we are going to visit its node 
so we are going to visit this node 3 and then again we are going to visit its right child which is 4 in this case after doing that we are going to visit the node and then we will keep on repeating the same process so let's see that what is the path we are going to take for this in order traversal well for this problem basically the path we are going to take is that first of all as mentioned for we are going to visit this node number 1 so first node is going to be 1 then going, we are going to visit node number 3 and then we are going to visit node number 4 in the fashion of left node node and then right sub, sub node then we, again we are going to visit the node so we are going to visit node number 5 now we are start we are start going to keep on iterating on the right subtree so even on the right subtree again we are going to follow this method of left node and right so for this left subtree now this becomes the root node or the node and this also has a left subtree existing so first of all we are going to visit this node number 6 then we are going to visit node number 8 and in the end we are going to visit this node number 9 so this is the in order traversal for this given binary uh, tree now the thing is if you see this uh, traversal basically everything is going in uh, increasing order and this whole thing is actually sorted and this is the property of this in order traversal that we are going to make use of and we are going to solve it optimally the idea is uh, for any given tree that we are presented with we are going to do a in, in order traversal and during the in order traversal basically the only thing we have to keep track of that any given node that we are iterating whether that node is actually uh, greater than its previous node or not if it is not greater than, greater than its previous node immediately we can return false so in this case because this was a valid binary search tree we were able to get uh, an in order traversal that is completely in increasing order and all the previous nodes they are actually less in value compared to its next subsequent node and this property is maintained throughout the entire journey now uh, let's see one example where this is not the case so in this example we can clearly see that this node 2 is at the correct place and this is not a valid binary search tree so let's see the in order traversal over here so in this case the path is going to be the next node we are going to visit is actually 2 and if we compare this node 2 to its previous value the previous value is actually 5 5 is actually greater than this 2 which should not be the case and immediately at this point only we can conclude that this is an invalid binary search tree we will return false immediately in this case and that is the answer we are going to use now actually there are two ways to do in order traversal for any given binary search tree there is an iterative way and there is a recursive way if you know me i like the recursion better so i'm going to show you the recursive way in the coding but it can be also done iteratively as well and the tricky part in this problem is to identify that we need to solve this problem using in order traversal if we see time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n where n is the number of nodes that are present for the space complexity uh, we are using recursion and we might have to uh, store uh, n characters in the worst case scenario First of all, we are actually going to define a global variable called previous to store the value of the previous element. Now, let me create a new in order method that would be our recursive method. So, now I have created a new in order method that returns a Boolean answer and we are taking just a root value as the input. Now, first of all, we are going to create the terminating case that if the given root is equal to null, we are going to return true. If that is not the case, first of all, for the in order traversal, we will have to call the leftmost function or leftmost value. So, we are going to do that. So, uh, first of all, we are going to see that if the answer for the root dot left, if that is uh, false, we will return false. If that is not the case, we will move on towards our next condition. Okay, so if we did not return false from our left side subtree traversal, then we are going to check our condition. So, the condition we are going to check is that whether the current root value, if that is less than or equal to the previous value, if that is the case, which means that uh, we have actually found an invalid binary search, search tree, so we can return false immediately. So, if we don't return false by this point, which means the previous value was actually less than whatever the current root value we had, which is a good sign. So now what we are going to do is we are going to update the value of our previous uh, variable. So that is going to be the current root value. And then uh, after that, we are going to call the right side subtree as well. So uh, we can simply return the in order uh, for the right subtree. Now from our main method, all we will have to do is we will set up, we will have to set up the value of the previous character. Uh, so initial value is going to be the null. And then we are going to call uh, this uh, in order method. Okay, seems like our solution is working as expected. Let's submit this code. And our submission runs pretty efficiently compared to a lot of other solutions. And that is because the code runs in 0 milliseconds. Uh, I would be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there. Thank you.